I'm going to give an overview of the Worship Extreme slide editor. Notice at the top you see the music note for mu music for excuse me for song lyrics, uh, but the slide editor is different, and that allows you to create slides with images, text, poll data, um, and a lot of, a lot more options in there than just song lyrics. So I'm going to click the slides icon at the top, which is the one right next to the song lyrics, and click Create New on the right. This is going to pull up a new uh, slide presentation, and I'm going to choose. There's in the for, for the first slide, it's going to ask me to pick a template. I'm going to choose just the one in the middle here with a standard title. I'm going to give it a title here. I'm going to call it, um, let's see, uh, Nature Images. Notice that one of the differences between this, the slide editor and the song lyrics editor is that things are organized in boxes and they can be moved around. So I can drag this text box around. I can also choose the uh, text formatting tab and change the font, um, change the font size, and give it a different color if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my title slide. I'm going to create a new slide. This one I'm going to use a blank template for. And I'm going to draw my own boxes here. So I'm just going to click and drag and that will draw a box. And I'm going to go back to the Home and Media tab. And for a box, I have the option for a text, poll data, or media. Uh, we In slide one, we use text. And so this one here in slide two, I'm going to create, click Media. That'll bring up my media library for me to pick a song. I'm going to filter by tag and go to my Nature Images. And I'm going to choose this one of the mountains here by hovering over it and clicking the green check. Then it'll bring me back to my slides. And notice that the that's the image I just selected is there. I'm going to draw another box here, and I'm, this one is automatically set as text. That's good, and I'm going to call it, double click to edit the text. I'm going to give it a, a title here. Go to the formatting tab and make it a little larger. I'm going to make the image box here bigger, and I'm going to move my caption for the image a little larger. So I'm actually make this full the full uh, size of the slide and put the caption here. So now I have a caption over my image. I'm going to drag it up to even the top so it fills the whole whole slide. Um, now I, I would like to do something similar for a next slide. So I have two options. I can click this duplicate, duplicate slide which will make an exact copy of the slide that I can edit. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I can also right click and save this slide as a template and not only can I reuse it in this presentation but I could use it in others as well and I'm going to call this uh, image with caption and then when I click new at the top to create a new slide my image with caption is now an option here I'm going to click that and now you'll see my third slide is uh, just the same as number two I'm going to double click this image here that, that's in the background double click uh, to edit it Again, I'm going to choose my nature photos, and this time I'm going to choose the waterfall. And I'm going to move my caption up to the top here. Go to the formatting, make it vertical align top for this text box, and change the color. Double click and change the text to waterfall. So now I have three uh, images so far, or excuse me, three slides so far. I'm going to add one more similar with uh, image text, double click the image to replace it. I'm going to choose this rocks image. Uh, go to the formatting tab for this other text box here. Make Go to the bottom and um, let's see, give it a different color here and call this one rocks. Um, let's see, and now I'm going to create my last slide. I'm going to choose a blank slide. And I'm going to demo how to put a few different types of media. So I'm going to drag a new, a new box. For the format, I'm going to type me or select media. I'm going to pick another photo of the beach here. And notice how this image uh, is scaled correctly in the box. And as I make the, the box bigger, the image will get larger, but it will retain the correct aspect ratio. There is an option here to stretch the image to fill the box if, uh, if you'd like to, to stretch it. To keep which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw another box here and uh, select media as the type. And in this one, I'm actually going to 
filter and I'm going to pick a video. Um, oops, sorry, I'm going to find the correct motion loop. I believe I have one in here. Um, yes, here we go. And notice that this is here. Uh, so this is going to be like a video and I'm going to do one more. Select a, a third image. For this slide, and I'm going to do another nature image. I'm going to do this one of the roads. So obviously this is not a, a, a practical slide, but you can see that there's many different form, many different types of media on here. And for the last one, I'm going to do um, I'm going to do images and video, and put this in the top top right here. So I'm going to save this presentation. And um, in my queue list here that I already have open on the left, I'm going to go to the top and choose new, create a new queue. And for the foreground type, I'm going to choose slides and pick this uh, uh, sample one I just created. And when I fire that queue by clicking it on the left, you'll notice my slides load up here. And I can go through them in my preview on the bottom right here, or excuse me, bottom left, you'll see as the slides as they come up. And when I go to my last slide, you'll notice that I have uh, text, images, and video. And I can click the pencil on any one of these slides to bring them back up to bring it back up in the editor, make changes, say I want to move this one around to the second place, save it, and it'll load back up here. That's been an overview of how to use the slide editor in Worship Extreme.